Hello everybody, God bless you. I'm Prophetess Shani Beckford. So I'm not able to do a Facebook live stream today. However, I want to share this with you. For all the people that has been uh, reaching out to all of the pastors, all the prophets, the apostles, seeking help and seeking deliverance, you do not need to pay to get a deliverance session. You do not need to pay for a deliverance, for a prophetic word or for healing. There's no price attached to this thing. No, there's nothing wrong with sowing a seed or honoring that man of God or woman of God that has taken the time to pray with you, to counsel you or whatever the session was about. There's nothing wrong with pledging a seed, but do not let anybody tell you that you have to sow a seed in in order for you to get a deliverance there is no such a thing listen some people are out there that are sowing that are planting thousand dollars of seed into ministries that do not even into pastors prophets and so-called apostles that does not even take the time to pray for them people have been giving over their cars to pastors that do not take the time to pray for them and to see it that to see to it that they actually go through a deliverance session guys you need to know god for yourself you need to know the god you serve for yourself you can call on god and god can intervene and heal you and deliver you from the comfort of your own home when you call on the lord he will answer you and deliver you just the same come on it is full time we wise up there is no cause some of you grew up in a church with your mother and your grandmother your grandfather and you have never seen none of these things happening so why do you feel that no you need to be doing this nothing has changed the same God of yesterday is the same God who is the God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. Nothing has changed. Come on, we need to begin to wise up and know God for ourselves. We forsake some of the truest prophets and pastors and we don't go to them because they seem like it seems as though it seems as though they're not popular, they're not famous, they don't have a thousand followers on Facebook and or a thousand people on the live stream or whatever it is. Listen guys, stop running down the hype, stop running down the, the, the crowd and all of these crazy things. Find the true and the honest men of God out there that are not going to charge you. If you want to sow a seed, sow a seed. If you want to honor our bless the person that takes the time to sit down and pray with you that is up to you and if you want to give that is up to you what what amount is god telling you to give listen if the person is going to tell you okay so a thousand us dollars or so 500 us dollars does this resonate with your spirit does this sit well with your spirit are you going to have to rob the bank for it i heard one man of god telling the people that oh you have to sow a painful seed you have to sow a painful seed it is termed as a painful seed listen guys stop the nonsense stop being caught up and tricked by this nonsense if a prophet tells you to sow a certain amount does it sit well with you is that what the holy spirit is confirming to your spirit come on let's hear god for ourselves let's know god for ourselves don't put yourself in bankruptcy because these men of god these so-called men of god said to you oh you have to do this and you have to do that come on it's 2022 let us know God for ourselves. Some of y'all put yourself through bankruptcy. You're giving yourself out of house, land, car, and everything, and you're still not healed. You're still not delivered. You have seen no changes in your life. That's not the God that we serve you here. Do not be fooled by none of these false prophets, false pastors, false apostles, those who have lost the anointing of God. Don't forsake some of these younger prophets who are coming up. Don't forsake some of these smaller churches. Don't forsake your pastor that you left that pastor's church because you wanted to go to one of these big mass. And I'm not saying all of these big churches or big time leaders are all the same. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, I'm just saying, know God for yourself.